Hello, I'm Ms. Rina, I'm one of the doctors in the clinic today. Can I confirm your name and the age, please? I'm Emma Wilson, and I'm 27 years old. Hi, Emma. I believe that you came today to know about your uh, result from the biopsy taken. Is that right? Yes. Yeah. I have your result with me now. Uh, I will let you know everything about it and discuss everything regarding the plan. But before that, can I ask you a few questions just to know more about you? Yes. Yeah. So can you tell me why you had this biopsy done for the first instance? Well, my periods are heavy. I get some spotting in between periods and I had a scandum which showed that the lining of my womb is a little thick. Oh, and can you tell me how heavy your periods? Um, well, they, it lasts about eight to ten days a month mm -hmm. with a really heavy flow which isn't like my normal periods. And since how long you have uh, suffered from that? Um, I've been having this for the last three to four months. Okay, sorry about that. And um, are you sexually active? Yes. And do you have any problems with uh, intercourse? No. Do you have any pains during your periods? No. Okay. And do you have um, any discharge or any abnormal foul smell? No. Okay. Any pain in your tummy or from down below? No. Okay. And uh, do you take any contraception? No. <coughs> okay. And. Um, have you ever been diagnosed with any sexually transmitted infection or infection in your pelvis? No. Okay. And have you ever been pregnant before? No. Okay, so you plan for a baby or you don't wish for fertility soon? Yes, I do plan for a baby. Okay, that's fine. So, I want, I want to ask about any medical problems at all? No, I don't have any. Okay. And uh, do you have any allergies? No. Uh, do, you do you have any previous history of any surgeries, like in your tummy or from down below? No. Okay. And do you feel well supported at home? Yes. Okay, that's great. Any family history of concern? No. Okay. And do you smoke? No. Do you drink alcohol? No. Okay. Thank you for sharing this information. Now, um, coming to your results, Emma, um, I'm just going to tell you more information. So do you want to call anyone from outside to be with you? Uh, no. Emma, I'm, I'm really sorry. It's not a good news today. Um, actually, the report from the biopsy showed that you have uh, endometrial hyperplasia with a tibia. Oh, what is that? So that means that the lining of your womb contains some abnormal cells. Oh, does that mean I have cancer? No, it's, it's not really a cancer. It's just abnormal cells which may later on behave and transform it into cancer. Sometimes there may be a hidden cancer and it's not like, you know, depicted in this biopsy. So really we don't know, but it's, it's highly, um, li li there is a high liability to turn into cancer. And that's why um, I'm really sorry to tell you this information, but the best, best treatment for that is to remove the wound. Oh. I know I, I really need to help you because I know that you are planning for a baby. Yeah, I've always wanted to get pregnant. Oh. So in that situation, we will uh, do some investigations on you. Like we may n request some imaging like CT in your pelvis, your tummy and also your chest. And I will take some blood uh, from you today to do some uh, blood proteins we call it tumor markers and with these results we will refer you to uh, MDT we call it multidisciplinary team 
These are group of doctors from different specialties, including the oncology doctor and the surgical and the gynecology, like group of, uh, of doctors that they will also look in your results and decide what, what is the best treatment for you. So usually if they couldn't detect any other pathology in your womb or ovary, they may agree for you to have a baby on condition that we are able to achieve regression of the disease. So how we are going to achieve this uh, if they agree for you? So we may offer you to put um, like a hormonal coil, a Mirena coil. Um, do you know about it? Yes. Okay, so we'll put a Mirena coil, this coil releasing hormones every day, and these hormones will cause thinning of the lining of the womb and regression of this disease. And to follow up and to see whether you are responding to that treatment, we need you to come in three months time from inserting this coil and have another biopsy and see. So if we have a negative biopsy, that means your endometrial or the lining of, of the womb came back normal, uh, then we can allow you to have a baby and in that situation we will refer you to the fertility center because we recommend uh, that you will do uh, artificial reproductive technique that that's like IVF which will have the best uh, outcome um, on achieving pregnancy and also the best outcome for regression of the disease and once you have achieved your future uh, fertility wishes and it is not no longer needed we will also remove your womb after that okay okay so if we plan to remove uh, the womb um, later on our aim is to go ahead with a keyhole surgery which which will have the uh, least um, like you know uh, least complication and uh, minimal hospital stay and minimal recovery time. Um, so that is the, the first approach. And keeping or removing the ovary, that will be uh, also uh, assisted by the multidisciplinary team and they will address us about it. But um, for now, uh, we are waiting for you to have a baby first. But unfortunately, if we fail to uh, achieve regression of your disease in two consecutive uh, biopsies after Mirena coil insertion um, we, we we do apologize we can't allow you to get pregnant because this will uh, have some risk <coughs> of um, developing cancer in your womb and in this situation we can offer you um, freezing of your eggs and um, doing uh, IVF uh, in a surrogate mother I'm really sorry. I know this is um, like like a shock news I gave you, I've given to you today, and uh, I know lots of thoughts in your mind now. So, do you have any questions at all? Um, well, yes, I do actually have a question. So, one of my friends has had a similar condition, and she had an endometrial ablation. Can I have this treatment instead and keep my womb? yeah so actually um most probably your friend didn't have endometrial uh, hyperplasia because we don't usually offer endometrial ablation in that in these conditions yes it can help to uh, relieve your heavy periods but we need to have a healthy uh, lining of your womb uh, the other thing that um if, if we do endometrial ablation, we don't really know if we completed burning all of the lining of the womb or something remains inside. So it's, we, we will not be sure that we burn it everything. The other thing as well, uh, if we do that, there may be some adhesion inside the womb. And if we need to do a follow-up biopsy after that, there will be adhesions so that the biopsy result will come insufficient. So it's not reliable. 
So I'm really sorry. Uh, we can't offer that for you. Mm. I know that it's too much for you today. Um, this is the patient information leaflet. You can read about it more. And I will arrange um, another appointment for you if, you if you need to discuss it further. And I will take all the investigation today. I will make the referral also to uh, the multidisciplinary team. And we will arrange another appointment uh, with you again to make you updated about everything. Okay, well, thank you for giving me this information today. No problem. Thank you.